All right, guys, we are driving the Kia Stinger GTS. Wow, this seems faster than uh, the previous Kia Stinger that I drove. I really like the Kia Stinger, I really do. I think it's fun to drive, it's priced right, it makes a great daily driver. Now, is this sports car, is it as good as an M3? No, it's not. But you know what? It's a lot of fun to drive for the money, and if you're looking at something different, this could be exactly what you're looking for. Now, the Kia Stinger in general, you know, you go for the base engine, that'll keep the car at a very good price point. If you go for the uprated engine, then obviously it's gonna cost you uh, more money, but I think it's worth it. You don't have to get the GT1 package or the GT2 package. I think you can get this car pretty base and just get the engine. At least that's what I would do. All right, acceleration. Acceleration is very good, it really is. It's really good. I can feel the, uh, feel the G-forces there. The ride is excellent. Uh, it's, it fits five, which is pretty good. A lot of cars these days only fit four. So it has a, is a very useful car. I can easily fit my hockey bag in there, my sticks, the whole bit. Steering feel, could use a little more steering feel, just like every modern car. But I am able to place the car where it is, where I want it to be. On these sweepers, it does very, very well. On tight turns, I think we'll experience some understeer. So now we'll test out the brakes for this tight turn. And then we'll turn. All right, so it's not, in slow turns, it's definitely not the best handling. It's not an M2, it's not an M3. Sounds pretty decent. It's hard to make a turbo engine sound good. You know, if you forget the badge for a second and forget it's a Kia and it's just a sports sedan and you're driving it on these roads, honestly, I think you'll be really happy. Your bank account will be happy because you won't spend as much as, say, getting an M3. Is it as good as an M3? Well, no. But it's still a car I would definitely consider. You should definitely consider. When these cars are used, you know, these cars are still too new. When, they, uh, when they're used and depreciate further, this car will be a great used car bargain, as long as it's reliable. Now, the problem with, you know, Kia's making some really good cars. Their SUVs are really popular. We'll have to see long-term how reliable they are in resale value. So even the perception uh, do people want used Kias? I'm not sure. So how I would probably buy this car, I would probably lease it. I'm sure they don't lease that great, the Stinger, but I would lease it, then you don't really have to worry about depreciation. Now here the car is keeping me in gear. I'm in mountain roads uh, and driving spiritedly, and it's holding the gear for me, which is really impressive. All right, guys, let's turn around and see how she does. Uh, turning circle isn't bad. Not bad at all. Let's do it. All right, so we got some power. Look at this. All right, Kia Stinger, everyone. I like it. I really do like this car. All right, so let's take uh, some switchbacks and see how this does. It does pretty well with the uh, elevation change. Let's see on these. Now, you do feel the weight in these turns. All right, here's a good test right here quick right and the left and then with uh, going downhill and then going back up that was just my camera flying across I do have to tail brake there I got some body roll and I got some understeer acceleration is very good very competitive brakes are good It's a fun place to be. This is a fun car. If you had this, I don't see this as a weekend car. I see this as your daily driver, and you really want a sports car, but you know, price point, you want something with a warranty, 
Uh, you want something that's fun to drive. You want something that looks good. I really like how it looks. I really like the orange color, but I like orange. Uh, the seats are very comfortable. And the ride is good. You could, uh, drive, I could drive this car all day. I live about an hour and a half from here, and I could easily take this car home, no worries. I could easily make this my real estate car and use it as a daily driver. Now, real estate cars are typically German cars like I have, Audis, BMWs, Mercedes. All right, so we're gonna get a chance to accelerate again. The noises you hear are just my uh, cameras going all over the place. Well, I'm gonna leave a little pause here while I wait for the road to open up. So what don't we like about the Kia Stinger? Well, you know, I see a lot of reviews, they love the interior. I think the interior is very functional, but it's definitely built to a price point. So it definitely looks like a cheaper car in here. Uh, I do like the flat bottom steering wheel. Uh, the stereo system is good. All right, let's go. All right, it's good acceleration. Yeah, so if I can afford one of its competitors, honestly, like German cars, you know, for this price point, I would probably get a used M3. But uh, if you want something with the warranty, uh, this is a really good car, it really is. If you want something newer that you can drive, your family car, even if you're in real estate like me and you need the backseat, uh, you can do a lot worse than the Kia Stinger. I think the Kia Stinger GT or GTS are definitely fun cars. They're made for enthusiasts, I applaud. Kia to uh, for making this car. I think we're lucky. We live in a world now where we get to drive awesome cars. I mean, there's awesome cars almost at every price point. You know, I drove a 370Z today. That's uh, you know new is in the in the low 30s. And this car, I would probably go for this engine and then just the base brakes work. Uh, the base model and skip on some of the options. I don't think the options really are gonna have anything to do with your driving experience. And to me, it's all about uh, driving experience with this car. That's why I think you're buying it. All right, guys, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.